Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy, the Level Up Blacksmith, and today I'm making a forge because I need a forge to level up. Of all the plans I looked at online, the one I preferred requires fire bricks, six of them. I got them for $250 for a grand total of $15. Requires a torch head. I picked this puppy up for $45 bucks at Home Depot and it requires a hole. And I'm gonna use this to make the hole. Drill bit cost me $12. It's gonna be fantastic. Now one consideration before going on is I'm not making use of any special tools. A lot of the plans for forges I look for online would work great and be really cheap if, and only if, you had a welder or somebody who had a welder and would let you use it or do it for you or maybe a lawnmower body, which you could flip upside down and work your magic and make a great Coke forge or a variety of other special tools. I don't have those special tools. And if I did, I wouldn't use them now because hopefully you are following along at home and I'm not gonna do anything that you can't do yourself. All right, let's put it together. The configuration that I like best is just like this and i'm gonna put one in the back to hold in the heat and i'm gonna put another one in the front so i can let that heat build up all right now let's find a nice spot on the side come with me for a second We'll find a nice spot somewhere in the center where I can drill my hole and put that torch head in. That looks like it's good, right? Let's see. Let's find out. Now I know what you're thinking because I thought it too. That's really not a very big forge, but all I really need it for is to heat up some rebar, at least for starters, because I'm only a level zero blacksmith. I figure a small forge requires less heat. We'll probably have a little bit more focused heat and maybe we'll get the job done a little bit better. I don't know, like I just said, level zero blacksmith here. Maybe you know better. If you do, put in the comments below. I'd love to read it. Okay, I have a problem. The drill bit that I bought that I was gonna drill my hole with doesn't fit my drill. Let me show you. The shaft here, shank maybe, shaft, anyway, whatever it is, will not fit in my cheap little drill. Look at that. Will not fit in there. So I can't use the drill. Now, I thought, maybe I should call a friend. Maybe they have a bigger drill. But then, I grabbed my saw, and I started cutting. And look at that. It cuts nicely. Let's finish it up. And there we go. Created the hole. The forge is reassembled. I added some map gas onto the torch head. Apparently that's what I should be using. If you know better, please say so in the comments. So let's fire this puppy up and get the forge nice and hot. Woo! We got five. Let's have a look. 
Whoa! I love it. Let's let it warm up. All right, the forge has been going for a few minutes. I have my garage door open because I'm running a forge in here, so there is some traffic noise. I apologize for that. It's time to shove the rebar in here and make it glow. If it glows, this has been a success. I'm so excited. Let's make this happen. PPE, you can never be too safe. Okay guys, the rebar has been in there for a few minutes. Let's take it out. It's the moment of truth. Whew. Look at that glow. What a beauty. I think that's been a success, guys. I built a forge. I made rebar cherry red. That is good work for a level zero blacksmith. Okay, let's turn off the gas and pound some steel. Gas out. Rebar red. Man, <laughs> look at that guys, I don't have an anvil strapped down to anything, it's on the bench, <laughs> it's shaking the crap out of everything, my forge is falling apart, let's slide that back together real quick, I guess next time I'm going to have to make an anvil stand. That was fun. And there you have it, everyone. I set out to build a forge that would take a piece of rebar and make it cherry red. And that's what I did. That was a success. I'm happy. Today was a good day. This was my first time blacksmithing and I loved it. I knew I would. I knew I would. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, maybe a thumbs down. Either way, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Why don't you subscribe while you're at it? I'm on a journey here to go from a complete novice, I have no idea what I'm doing, to a master blacksmith. Maybe I can get there, maybe I can't. You can follow my entire journey just by subscribing. Catch you later.